May I, for my own self, <laughs> songs, cool. truth, reckon. Journeys dark and how I in harsh days, hardship endured off. Bitter breast cares have I abided, known on my keel many a cares hold, and the dire sea surge, and there I oft spent narrow night watch nigh on the ship's head, while sea tossed close to cliffs, coldly afflicted. My feet were by frost benumbed, chill its chains are, chafing sighs, you my heart round, and hunger begot mere weary mood. Lest man know not that he on dry land loveliest liveth, list how I, care wretched on ice cold sea, weathered the winter, wretched outcast, deprived of all kinsmen. Hung with hard ice flakes where hail scurf flew, there I heard naught save the harsh sea, and ice cold wave at wipes the swan's cry. Did for my games the gannets clamor, sea fowls loud as was for me laughter, the muse singing all my mead drink. Storms on the stone cliffs beaten fell on the stern and icy feathers, full off the eagle screamed with spray on his pinion. Not any protector may make merry man faring needy. This he little believes, who I in winsome life abides midst burger some heavy business, wealthy and wine flushed. How I weary oft must bide above brine. Near the nightshade, snoweth from north, frost froze the land, hail fell on the earth then, corn of the coldest. Nath less there knocketh now the heart's thought that I a high stream, the salt wavy tumble traverse alone. Moaneth o we my mind's lust, that I fare forth, that I far head seek out a foreign fastness. For this there's no mood lofty man over earth mist. Not though he be given his good, but will have in his youth greed. Nor his deed to the daring, nor his king to the faithful, but shall have his sorrow for seafare, whatever his lord will. He hath not heart for harping, nor in ring having, nor winsomeness to wife, nor world's delight, nor any wit else save the wave's slash. Yet longing comes upon him to fare forth on the water. Bosk taketh blossom, cometh beauty of berries, fields to fairness, lands fair brisker. All this admonisheth man eager of mood. The heart turns to travel, so that he then thinks on floodways to be far departing. Cuckoo calleth with gloomy crying, he singeth some a word, bodeth sorrow, the heart's bitter blood. Burger knows not, he the prosperous man, what some perform where wandering them widest draweth. So that but now my heart burst from my breast lock, my mood mid the mere flood, over the whale's acre would wander wide. On earth's shelter come off to me, eager and ready the crying lone flyer, wets for the whale path the heart irresistibly. O'er tracks of oceans, seeing that anyhow my lord deems to me this dead life on lone and on land, I believe not that any earth wheel eternal standeth, save there be somewhat calamitous, that ere a man's tide go turn it in twain. Disease or oldness or sword hate beats out the breath from doom grip body, and for this, every earl whatever for those speaking after, laud of the living boasteth some last word, that he will work ere he pass onward, frame on the fair earth against foes his malice, daring ado, so that all men shall honor him after. And this laud beyond them remain mid the English, aye, forever, a lasting life's blast, delight mid the doughty, days little durable in all arrogance of earth and riches. There come now no kings, nor Caesars, nor guild giving lords like those gone, howe'er in mirth most magnified, whoe'er lived in life most lordliest. Drear all this excellence, delights undurable, waneth the watch, but the world holdeth, tomb hideth trouble, the blade is laid low. Earthly glory ages and seereth, no man at all going the earth's gate, but age fares against him, his face paleth, gray hair he groaneth, nose gone companions, lordly men are overgiven. Nor may he then the flesh cover when life seeth us, nor eat the sweet, nor feel the sorry, nor stir hand, nor think in mid-heart. And though he strew the grave with gold, his born brothers, their buried bodies, be an unlikely treasure hoard. <laughs>